Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It is written by the word of the Lord. Who is he that says a thing and it comes to pass if the Lord Almighty has not approved it? Precious one, I want you to know that God has the final say in your life. It doesn't matter what has been proclaimed. It doesn't matter what has been said. It doesn't matter what has been announced to your detriment and to your discredit and to your disadvantage. It has to take God to approve it before it can stand. Therefore, I pray and I declare over your life that every diabolic pronouncement made against your well-being and against your welfare, they are overruled by the word of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. On this note, I want to especially welcome you to Rising with Jesus, the program that the Lord has designed to give you advanced victory and to draw you closer to him as never before. In this program, you are watching on your favorite television station, Precious TV. I know that our lives will never be the same. I don't want you to watch this program alone. Make sure a relative is watching with you. Make sure your loved ones are watching with you. Make sure your friends are watching with you so that together we can receive from the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. You want to join me at this very juncture to appreciate God and to bless his name, to magnify him for all that he has done for us because the Bible says that the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. Shall we lift our voice and begin to appreciate the Lord and give him glory and give him praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Heavenly Father, we declare that you are worthy of praise, you are worthy of glory, you are worthy of honor. Be thou exalted and be thou lifted up on high. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, accept our thanksgiving and accept our appreciation for all that you have done for us, the fact that you have preserved us, the fact that you have sustained us, the fact that you have provided for us, the fact that you have delivered us for all the good things you have done for us. We declare that, Father, we are grateful to you and we appreciate you. Receive all the glory, receive all the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Very soon, precious one, we'll be entering into a time of prayer to speak into the day before we set out. But I want to share something briefly with you on what I have entitled The Last Days. The Last Days and The Last Days. The Bible says that in the last days, perilous times shall come. In the last days, difficult times shall come. In the last days, harsh times shall come. In the last days, dangerous things will be taking place. Many people will be under assault. Many people shall become victims. So all kinds of things are going to happen in the last days. But God has given us a road map. God has given us the, the way out from his word so that you and I can prevail even in the last days. So that you and I will not be taken by surprise in the last days. Many people are ignorant concerning the things that will happen in the last days. And so it will take them by surprise and their outcome will not be very good. But as for you, God is about to open your eyes and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Bible said in the last days, nation will rise against nation. Individuals will rise against individuals. There shall be pestilences. There shall be earthquakes. All kinds of havocs will take place because of the wickedness of humanity that has attracted the judgment and the wrath of God. But as I said earlier on, there is always a way out for the people of God. There is always a way out for the people that have entrusted their lives unto God. God will always rescue you from the coming danger. God will always salvage you from the, from the coming assault that is going to befall the earth because of the disobedience of humanity that has attracted the wrath of God. Jesus Christ is our only way or our only route of escape. That is why every time we have been imploring you to give your life to Jesus, every time we have been encouraging you, admonishing you to surrender your life to Jesus Christ. 
one of the things that will be happening in the last days is the rapture and then the tribulation will also take place and then the second coming will also take place and we we also have the the last supper with the marriage lamp all kinds of things are going to take place and so in the book of genesis chapter 49 verse 1 genesis chapter 49 verse 1 the bible says that and jacob called unto his sons and said gather yourselves together that i may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days verse 2 gather yourself together and hear ye sons and hearken unto your father and so jacob called unto his sons and said gather yourselves together in the last days in the last days the sons must listen to the call of their fathers whether physical sons or spiritual sons the sons must listen to the call must respond to the call of their fathers if you want to escape the dangers that are going to befall humanity on the surface of the earth you have to pay attention to the call of our fathers our spiritual fathers our godly fathers our heavenly father we need to listen to their call they are going to call us into certain directions they are going to call us into certain things into certain means we have to listen to the call we have to respond to the call of our fathers and it says in genesis 41 49 verse 1 that gather yourself together that i may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days so in the last days one of the things we have to do is that we have to gather ourselves unto our father we have to gather ourselves unto our father we have to make ourselves available unto our fathers we must not disconnect we must not detach ourselves from the fathers because God has given them the keys to what shall befall us in the last days. God has deposited the key to the things that will befall us. The outcome of our lives in the last days, God has deposited the keys and the mysteries into the hands of our fathers. And as we listen to our fathers, as we follow our fathers, and as we respond to the call of our fathers, we shall be able to escape the dangers that will be befalling the surface of the earth and all humanity in the mighty name of Jesus. And so in verse 2 of Genesis chapter 49, the Bible says that gather yourself together and hear you sons and hearken unto your father. Gather yourselves together and hear ye sons and hearken unto your father. I pray that God will give you the grace to gather yourselves unto your father. God will give you the grace to hear your father. God will give you the grace to hearken unto your father as a son and as a daughter in the name of Jesus. Every godly father in your life, whether he's physical, spiritual, every godly father in your life, I pray that you will receive the grace to hear them and to hearken unto them in the name of Jesus. Above all, we need to hearken unto our heavenly father in the name of jesus christ of nazareth in isaiah chapter 2 and verse 2 isaiah chapter 2 verse 2 the bible says that any any shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow into it so one of the things that will be happening in the last days is that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established. The mountain of the Lord's house shall be established. The house of the Lord is mountainous in nature. The house of the Lord is mountainous in capacity. And so it says that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the last days. So when you are connected to the house of the Lord, in the last days, when others are being uprooted, when others are being scattered, when others are being dislodged, you shall be established. In the last days, when others are getting lost, when others are losing their places, you shall be established. You shall be entrenched. You shall not lose your place. In the mighty name of Jesus, when others are going into obscurity, God shall give you favorable exposure. 
because you shall be established in the name of Jesus. You shall not only be established, but you shall be established on the top of the mountains. You shall be established on the top of the mountains. God shall place you at the topmost top. That is where you deserve. God shall place you at the topmost top. So in the days in which we live, as we are in the latter days of the last days, God is going to place certain people on the topmost tops. And I am declaring to you that by the grace of the Lord, you are among them. That is why God is causing you to hear this timely message in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you shall not be uprooted. I pray for you that you shall not be removed. I pray for you that you shall not be dismissed. I declare in the name of Jesus that you shall be established and you shall be established again by the grace of the Lord and by the mercy of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It also says that and uh, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be exalted above the hills, shall be exalted above the hills. So in the last days, when there is shakings and when there are movements and when things are crumbling and when things are falling, others shall be exalted above. Others shall be exalted above. Others shall be exalted above. And you are counted among those that shall be exalted above. In the name of Jesus, I speak by the word of the Lord that in these last days, you shall be exalted above the oppositions. You shall be exalted above the adversities. You shall be exalted above the limitations. In the mighty name of Jesus, you shall be exalted above the miseries. You shall be exalted above diabolic oppressions. The Lord shall exalt you and lift you and establish Establish you not by your effort, not by your might, but by the Spirit of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible said in the latter part of Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2, it says that and all nations shall flow into it. So in the last days, it is advantageous for you to be connected to the house of the Lord. It is beneficial for you to be connected to the house of the Lord because all nations shall flow into it all good things shall be flowing towards directions that direction the direction of the house of the Lord all things that will lift you all things that will establish you all things that will enlighten you all things that will entrench you all things that will sustain you shall be flowing into the house of the Lord the desires you are having the expectations you are having all those things shall be directed they shall flow into the house of the Lord and therefore as you are connected to the house of the Lord, you shall be connected to your expectations and to your desires in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And in verse 3 of Isaiah chapter 2, verse 3 of Isaiah chapter 2, it says that and many people shall go and say, come here and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, which is the house of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and you teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And so many people shall go, and many people shall come. They will come to the house of the Lord. And so when you are connected to the house of the Lord, in these last days, many shall come to you. Many shall come to you. Many of the things that you are desiring shall come to you. Many of the things that the world is looking for and they are not getting. Many of the things that humanity is looking for and they are not getting. The Bible says that many shall come and they will say, let us go to the mountain of the Lord, which is the house of the God of Jacob. Anything you expect, anything you desire, anything you anticipate for, God has directed them to the house of the Lord, to the mountain of the house of the Lord in these last days. And so the smartest and the wisest thing for one to do is to be connected to the house of the Lord. Be connected to the house of the Lord. And the house of the Lord is a place of teachings where you shall be taught the ways of the Lord. For the Bible said, Moses knew the ways of the Lord. For you to know the ways of the Lord, it takes the teachings from the house of the Lord. And as you are taught from the house of God, the ways of the Lord will be exposed to you and you shall not deviate. 
you shall not deviate and you shall not get lost in the name of Jesus. And the Bible said in the last part of verse 3 of Isaiah chapter 2, it says that for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the law from Jerusalem. Zion also refers to the house of the Lord. It says, out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord. Out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord. So any word that is spoken from the house of the Lord becomes a law. In the last days, these are some of the things that will be happening. Any word that will be spoken from the house of the Lord shall become a law. And when it becomes a law, all forces must comply. Contrary forces must comply. Opposing forces must comply. Unhappy forces must comply. Because the word from the house of the Lord is a law. And once they refuse to comply with the law, the penalty shall follow. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus that from today, as you speak, from the word of the Lord, as you speak by the word of the Lord, as you speak as an agency or someone connected to the house of the Lord, your word shall be complied with. It doesn't matter the forces that are contending with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, in verse 4 of Isaiah chapter 2, the Bible said, And he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears shall be beaten into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Verse 5, O house of Jacob, come ye, and let us walk in the light of the Lord. And so, in the last days, the judgment of the Lord shall go forth against forces and nations that rise against your fortunes. He says that the, 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 the swords of, of nations shall be beaten into plushes and their spears shall be, shall be converted into pruning hooks. That means that in the last days, the sword shall not have the upper hand. In the last days, the spear of the enemy shall not have the advantage. They shall be humiliated. Every sword lifted against you at the sound of my voice as you listen to me. Every sword lifted against you, every spear stretched against you, whether you are aware of it or not, I declare that they are dismantled and humiliated and totally disgraced in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He says that neither shall they learn war anymore. In verse 4 of Isaiah chapter 2, he says, neither shall they learn war anymore. Therefore, I declare that stimulators of war against our destinies, stimulators of war against our nations, stimulators of war against our communities shall bow. They shall be disarmed. They shall be paralyzed. In the name of Jesus, every agency of war that is being raised against you, against our community, against our family, against our nation, all those agencies of war are declared paralyzed. They are declared scattered in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And in verse 5 of Isaiah chapter 2, he says that, O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of the Lord. The light of the Lord is our armor in these last days. The light of the Lord is our armor in these last days. That light is Jesus Christ. That light is the word of the Lord. Yes. And so as we operate by the word of God, it becomes our armor of light to disarm every assault of the enemy against every one of us in these last days. I declare in the name of Jesus that in these last days, the Lord shall rescue you. In these last days, the Lord shall favor you. In these last days, the Lord shall, shall deliver you. In these last days, the Lord shall protect you. In these last days, the Lord shall lift you because of his mercy, because of his grace, because of his goodness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, wherever you are, watch him in from. I want to lead you to surrender your life to the Lord because that is your number one key to escape from the dangers in these last days. 
And so pray this prayer with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for your word. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your precious blood. Come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. Let my life be a testimony to all those who know me. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Precious one, I thank God for your life. You want to lift your voice and appreciate God for that word you have heard this very hour. That word has come to elucidate you, to open your eyes, and to raise your faith, and to deepen your understanding. Lift your voice and say thank you to the Lord. Say, Lord, I thank you for this word, for this timely message that has come. I bless you, Father. I honor you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, that somebody has been loosed, somebody has been liberated, somebody has been set free by this word that has gone forth into their hopes. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bless you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to pray and we are going to ask God that, oh Lord, empower me to live for you and not for myself. Empower me to live for you and not for myself. Lift your voice and tell the Lord. Empower me to live for you and not for myself. Pray that prayer unto the Lord right now. Because the flesh is weak, even though the spirit is willing. Lift your voice. Ask the Lord to empower you. Lord, empower me to live for you and not for myself. In the name of Jesus. Lord, empower me to live for you and not for myself. Lord, empower me to live for you and not for myself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Malado satarebe de sete. Yes, Lord, for it is not by might, it is not by power, it is by your spirit. Empower these viewers by your spirit. Empower them by your spirit. You know their heart as many of them that wants to live for you. Empower them supernaturally in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Malado seke, sata. Every trap against them that prevents them from living successfully for you. We command all those traps dismantled. We command all those bait taken out of their way. In the mighty name of Jesus. That it shall be a delight for them to live for you. In the name of Jesus. We ask for that empowerment. That endowment. That engracement. For all these viewers. In the name of Jesus. Maladaba sataya, miko takaliabra zande, mele de zeto labadea. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You also want to pray and ask God that, O oh Lord, save me from hell and from judgment by the blood of Jesus Christ. You are praying that, O oh Lord, arise and save me from hell and from judgment, from your divine judgment by the blood of jesus christ lift your voice and pray right now the blood is speaking for you the blood is rescuing you the blood is delivering you the blood is taking you out of destruction in the name of jesus oh lord save me from hell and from your judgment by the blood of jesus christ lord let the blood speak for somebody right now let the blood of the everlasting covenant intervene for somebody right now in the name of jesus christ let the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of abel salvage somebody right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth Malagasaka, blood of Jesus Christ, arise and rescue them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You want to pray and pray finally that, O oh Lord, by your grace and mercy, catapult me into your ark of redemption. O oh Lord, by your grace and mercy, catapult me into your ark of redemption in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your voice and talk to the Lord. Ribo Sata Libre Zea, Malagosa. Randa basata meledese rabadosa meledese maladea maladosa by your grace and mercy catapult me lord into your ark of redemption in the name of jesus make that your prayer right now father catapult them by your grace and by your mercy that is the only way out in the name of jesus let somebody be catapulted 
into divine redemption in the name of Jesus. Brazakalo Zande, let the redemption of somebody be settled permanently by your grace and by your mercy lord in the name of jesus every question every question surrounding the redemption of somebody i pray in the name of jesus let your grace and your mercy settle it forever in the name of jesus christ of nazareth in the name of jesus christ of nazareth amen Lift your voice and thank the Lord for the answer to, to prayer. Lift your voice and appreciate God for the answer to prayer. Something powerful. Yes, a metamorphosis has taken place. Lift your voice and magnify his name and bless him. Lift your voice and lift him. Lift your voice and glorify him for the answer to your prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, we receive answers now by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I want to pray with you briefly. If you are sick in any part of your body, are suffering from any satanic assault i want to pray with you god is going to heal you wherever you are now in jesus name lay your hand where you are hurting stretch from the other hand and towards the screen as we pray now father in jesus name i take authority over every spirit of sickness and disease every spirit of affliction and misery that is attacking these dear ones i command all those spirits bound i command them arrested in jesus name i command them to come out of the lives of these dear ones i declare that from the top of their head to the sole of their feet they'll be made totally and every with whole in the name of jesus command satanic assaults over their lives to be terminated entirely in the name of jesus I speak to their doors to open speak to their expectations to be granted supernatural naturally in jesus mighty mighty name i call it done amen precious one you are blessed as never before i want to introduce this powerful book to you written by my dear bishop bishop chasa Ginasari. the title is the grand finale heaven hell and the last days the grand finale heaven hell and the last days i want you to call the numbers on the screen make sure you get a copy for yourself and i tell you your redemption shall be secure until I see you again tomorrow, don't forget, this is Rising with Jesus, and the Lord has effected your rise already. God bless you. Amen.